Hello friends. So today what we're going to do is um, go through the uh, fairly simple uh, coding exercises. I'm going to start a series on the uh, Project Euler coding exercises that they have. These are just, a, this is just a good resource to find problems and work through them, um, code along and kind of learn new principles um, about programming. A lot of them are math problems, but those are good to learn. So the first one that we're working on today, which is the first problem, goes as such. If we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 and 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of these multiples is 23. So we want to find the sum of all the multiples of 3 and 5 that are below 1,000. So a multiple of something means like 3, 5, 6 and 9 it below 10 means that they're all divisible by either 3 or 5 without a remainder. So we want to find all numbers that are divisible by 3 and 5 without a remainder below 1,000 and then we want to add them together and give that sum as our answer. So we'll start out by building a function and we'll just call it sum of multiples or multiple and we'll pass in a limit as the argument for that. And then once we do that, we want to set up a couple of variables. We'll set up an i and a sum. And we'll set them both equal to 0. Then we'll do a for loop. So we'll say for i equals 3. We want to start it at 3 because we don't need to divide by 2 or 1. So we'll start at 3. And we'll go as long as i is less than limit. Um, we want to i plus plus. Okay, so our loop is our loop is good. And so once we have that set up, we'll say if um, i modulo or modulo three is equal to zero, or i modulo five is equal to zero. So if they are multiples of 3 and 5, we want to add to the sum, which is set at 0, i, whatever i is at that given point. And then we want to return sum down here. So what we're doing right here is we're setting up two variables at 0. Um, well, we're, we're, we're declaring an i right here. We're setting it to 3 right here, but we're setting up our sum at 0. Um, i is at 3. As long as it's less than 1,000, we want to add 1 to it. So the first time it goes through, it goes i equals 3. If, th if 3 modulus 3 is equal to 0, which it is, then we want to add to that sum, which is equal to 0 right now, that i. So now sum is 3. Next, it, the i is post-incremented by 1, so now i is 4 i is less than 1,000, 4 modulus 3 is equal to 0 is false, i 4 modulus 5 is equal to 0 is false, so it doesn't do anything, it just post increments the i again. So now it's 5, passes, passes, so we add the 5 here, so now the sum is at 8. So if we do that all the way up to 1,000, we want to uh, console dot log and we can just format it just answer and then add to that call our function sum of multiple and then pass in the limiter that we want in this case we want a thousand and we can log that so let's go in into node uh, node euler one dot js let's see what the answer is the answer is two hundred thirty three thousand one hundred sixty eight so all of the multiples of three and five below one thousand added together equals up to 233,168. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this is just the first problem. This one's pretty easy, but you set up a for loop and you, it's just kind of like a, uh, kind of a version of something like fizzbuzz. You're just adding, instead of replacing the number with fizz or buzz, you're just actually adding all of those numbers together. So um, yeah, this is a pretty simple one, but I'll be doing a bunch more of these. So um, they get more complicated as we go along. So yeah, hope it helped.